What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is December 2019. I'm fired up. Um, spent a lot of a lot of energy this month, man. Just wrapping up the year, closing out the year, um, and and really, really visualizing and goal setting for the next. And one thing that I've always done, man. One thing I've always, always done. I've been in sales, man for the past 20 years. And that kind of, that, that all started in 1999. So going on 21 years, just different sales jobs, right? Whether it was working for a company, whether it was owning my own company, like an actual physical building where employees came to report to me every day, whether it was, it was network marketing, whether it was in 2016 becoming my own boss again and building a social media agency, whatever it may be, man, I've been in sales for a very long time is what I'm saying. And I've always started my new years in December. And it was more towards the middle, middle, middle of December because in sales, the majority of sales, it starts to slow down. A lot of people start to check out um, in, in the middle to end of December for the obvious reasons. Christmas is coming up. A lot of people, you know, a lot of salesmen, that are that are actually selling different products a lot of the times their customers or their clients have already checked out and that makes both of them checking out right the salesman checks out the consumer checks out everyone's focused on christmas everyone's focused on spending time with their family and so there was always this downtime and i don't i don't know if that was just me but i but i'm willing to bet a lot at, or or just people that i worked with but i but i know it was across the board as well things slow down in sales mid to end December because everyone's focused on their family and getting ready for Christmas. And so it was in that time period when I would always mastermind and I would always goal set and I would always prepare for the next year in the middle of December. So as people were setting their New Year's resolutions on December 31st, I was already setting my, re my New Year's resolutions in, in mid-December. And I was already knowing what, what my numbers and, and projecting what I had to do for the next year and, 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 and my goals and just, and just setting the bar higher um, come January 1st. So I was always trying to get a couple weeks uh, jumpstart, a, a couple weeks ahead of, of my competition. And, 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 and that's kind of how I always planned out my, 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 my month and, and my new year. And so I spent today, what's today? Today's the 19th. So I am grinding until tomorrow. On the 20th is when I check out. And, 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 and so I already have my plan um, on what I'm doing from the 20th to the 31st. I'm going to spend a lot of family time but I'm also going to be structuring and restructuring a lot of my business components and parts that I have going on as well. Right. But I'm not going to be talking to any clients. I'm not going to be bringing on any clients. Um, I'm kind of just checking out. I'm checking out for the last couple of weeks of, 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 of the year. Right. Um, because I grinded hard, man. I grinded hard this year. 155 new clients came in, um, through my business in the, in the year of 2019. And I have a few appointments tomorrow. I actually have a couple more appointments tomorrow. Um, just a couple. Let me, sh so, so I might end up closing the year at, um, at over, at over 155. I might, I might, let me see, let me see my client, my, my calendar for tomorrow. Nothing big, but I think I do have a couple appointments tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow I'm speaking with Actually, today's Thursday. So tomorrow, tomorrow I have a call with Carrie, which I'm bringing aboard. Um, that's for sure. And then I have a call with Tim, but that's a strategy call. And then I have another call with a, with the, with a potential client at one. So I'm actually bringing these two clients aboard in the blue right here, in the light blue, Carrie and Lethe. I'm actually bringing both of them aboard tomorrow. So I'll end up closing the year Actually, you know what? No, I take that back. I take that back. These are already existing clients. What I'm going to be doing now is 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 going on to the next step with them, with the, which is the whole point of this video. The whole point of this video was not 155 clients. I didn't really care to show you that part, but it but what I what I wanted to care, what I what I did care to show you was the difference here. 155 clients came in, but 212 of them successful payments. Where's the difference, right? The difference is in the upsell. So there was out of 155, let's do the math real quick. 
155, let's go 212 minus 155. That is 57. So 57 of them, I actually upsold. And I'm going to show you how I upsell them. 57 of them, I actually upsold to go to the next step with me. And I'll show you what that next step is, okay? And I'll kind of, I'll kind of walk you through. So, so, that, so, so grab some popcorn, grab something to drink, smoke a blunt if that's your thing, um, because I might, go on, I might go on for a few minutes on this one because this right here, man, is where I'm wrapping it up. This right here is going to be a good video to kind of learn from, especially how I'm building my agency and, and, and how, how, how I was able to, 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 to bring on these many clients in 2019 alone. And, and if you really want to dig deep on how I'm building it, I'm going to be teaching people exactly, exactly, exactly my methodology in 2020. So make sure you're on my VIP list. The link is in the description, digitalagencyblueprint.com. The, the, the link is also pinned um, in the comment section, but jump on that, that, VIP list with me and allow me to, you know, share my secret strategies because I don't, I don't share everything on YouTube, but this one, I'm going to get into some details. So uh, 57 of the 155, I upsold. Okay. And I brought them on as, 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 um, as monthly clients. Okay. Some of them stuck, some of them didn't, some of them needed me longer. Some of them didn't. A lot of my passion comes from teaching people. So once I teach people how to do it, I, I kind of let them go. I don't need to keep you on monthly because I don't, I don't, first of all, me, the way I'm building my social media agency is not by bringing on hundreds of monthly retaining clients. That's not my model. That's not what I want to be doing. Some of you guys want to be build, building a business like that where you have 50 clients paying you 2000 a month. That's fine, but that's not the circus that I want to be a part of. That's not my model. My whole passion and my business model is digital courses building an agency and then, and then getting my clients to want to learn how to do it themselves. I want to teach people how to fish, not fish for them. So that's where my passion and that's where the whole digital courses and that's where Karcher comes in. And, and, and that's where, that's where my whole passion for digital publishing, being able to take your knowledge and package it all up and sell it. So rather than having all these monthly retaining clients that I actually have to manage and, 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 and having to deal with all that stress and headache and responsibility because you think that's easy. That shit is not easy. When you have multiple clients calling you every day, it's like, shit, that's not, that's not easy. And that's not the business I want to be in. I don't want to be in the client services business where I'm taking on that many clients. My whole model in 2020 is going to be taken on just a few, just a few monthly retaining clients, people that actually don't want to learn it themselves, people who don't have the time to go do it themselves. And people who actually have a monthly budget, like a, like a good size, that's who I'm taking on. I'm not taking on everyone in 2020 at all as far as monthly clients. But my, other, my model as far as starting them small, that's going to remain the same because I mastered that part. So the whole point of this video is how did I upsell 57 people? Out of the 155, there was 212. Let me refresh this just so you guys know I ain't playing. There was 212 successful payments. So that means there was a difference of 57 payments that, that came in extra, right? So let's refresh this real quick. Um, 212, 212 payments, 155 clients. And so the clients that I actually have, um, and so, so, so here's, here's what I'm saying. These two clients that I have calls with tomorrow, Carrie and Letty, that's going to take the 212 to 214. So I'm going to end up finishing the year at 59 extra transactions from the 155 clients. Okay. So I hope that makes sense. How did I do that? How does that happen? And how do I automate that? Right? Because I'm definitely not calling these people. Hey, you, I can sell you another package. Hey, let me tell you about our newer, newest program. I'm not doing any of that shit. I'm freaking I'm, I'm automating everything, man. And that's why the, the Kartra system has been an absolute game changer for me because of the email autoresponder. A lot of you guys are still playing around with multiple services. You got your landing pages through ClickFunnels. You got your email autoresponder through freaking um, 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 Sendlane or MailChimp. You guys are dealing with random 
multiple services and you don't need to. Everything is in Kartra. So there's a 14-day trial in the description, profitwithkartra.online. I'm doing everything through one service, okay, through one software. And it's the email autoresponder. It's the follow-up. I did a video on that a few days ago. The fortune is in the follow-up. So these emails, I'm going to show you exactly how they're going out. That's how I was able to, to upsell tomorrow after I speak to, after I speak to um, Carrie and, and Letty. Tomorrow will be 59. It'll be 59 extra transactions. So this 212 will be 214. And I'm telling you, it's all because of my email autoresponder. So here's how I do my business. Here's how I've been building my business. Okay. So I started my agency in 2016 and just started doing, started, started trying to really master my craft, trying to see what the hell the market is demanding, trying to see the pains and, and what people are missing, trying to really find my lane. And, and, and what I mean by find my lane is find the actual services that are going to bring value and that are going to actually benefit the market, that are going to actually benefit the end consumer. Because you have to come into this game different. You have to be pitching something different. Um, you can't just be offering the same, you know, Facebook ad campaign. You got to have something different. Like whether it's your, whether it's your, your pitch, whether it's your personality, whether whether it's your strategies, there has to be something a little different. And I truly believe, man, when I started my my agency in 2016, everyone and their mother was offering two thousand a month. To a small business owner, okay, two thousand a month, twenty five hundred a month, a thousand a month. I'm gonna run your Facebook ads, or a thousand a month. I'm gonna manage your social media platforms, and and I'm gonna be your social media media manager. It's like, dude, thousands and thousands of digital marketers came onto the scene in 2016, going after small businesses, offering them the same shit, same pitch, same service, same everything. And I and I started realizing this, and I'm like, man. Everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's getting pitched the same thing. What can I do differently? Like, how can I have a different pitch? So when I'm reaching out to these business owners, they're like, damn, David, no one's ever taught me that. And, and, and so I had to learn what my market was missing, what my niche was missing. And I had to, and I had to learn what they were not being pitched. And so I had a unique approach. And that's why digitalagencyblueprint.com, I'm going to be releasing more training in 2020. In 2020. Don't miss out, man. Because if you're just starting out, I'm telling you, you're not going to go after a business owner and they're not going to give you 2000 a month. They're just not. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And, it, and, 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 and also that whole pitch is burned out. Like it's played out. It's burnt. Everyone and their mother's trying to pitch 2000 a month, 2500 a month. You got to have a different approach, man. And I just truly believe my approach was different. My approach was different and my approach is different. And that's what I'm going to be teaching a lot of people in 2020. And that's digitalagencyblueprint.com. So that link is in the description. If you're looking for a different proposition and a different approach and a different pitch, and a simple pitch and something that's basic and something that every business owner out there will pay you for, digitalagencyblueprint.com. I'm going to be teaching you exactly my strategies. So it started in 2016 into 2017 into 2018, and then I ended up mastering it in 2019 is where I mastered my approach. And so this year in 2019, I brought up, I brought aboard 155 clients right? 155 people went through my, went through my pipe as far as my, my, you know, running, running, running the damn credit card through. So 155 divided by 12, that's 12 clients, almost 13 clients a month. So that's, that's, that's four clients a week that I'm, that I'm able to get a credit card from. Okay. All through my direct messaging. I'm, I haven't ran Facebook ads for clients at all at all, at all. I haven't ran one single Facebook ad, one paid ad, one YouTube ad, one Instagram ad. I have not ran one single paid ad to get a social media client. The 155 people came through direct messaging through social media. Bottom line, okay? Now, at, as I kind of broke down in my previous videos, I start people off small. I literally have them cut me a $5, uh, $5. I literally have them cut me a $500 check, a $600 check, a $700 check. I start them small, no commitment, no monthly retainer. It's a few hundred upfront for me to go fix your problem. All right. And, and, and that's literally what I call step one and two. 
155 people paid me anywhere from 500, let's just call it anywhere from 500 to 1,000, okay? Anywhere from 500 to 1,000, 155 people did, get, gave me that in 2019, okay? Now, again, the difference, after tomorrow, it'll be 214. That 212 will be 214. So 214 minus 155, that's 59 people said, you know what, David? I want more. Let's go on to the next step. What do we got to do? Tell me the next step. And so I tell them on the first initial call, I tell them all the steps, but then I also tell them, hey, you're not ready for that right now. Let's do step one and two first. You're going to give me a few hundred to do this first. And then when you're ready with the monthly budget, then we'll go on to step three. And that's the 59. So the difference here, th those are people that came on for the next step with more budget, okay? Now, again, it wasn't for me calling them and saying, hey, Stacy, are you ready for the next step? It wasn't that at all. It all came from my email automation, okay? So here's how, here's how I do it. When I onboard a client, Okay. When I onboard a client, I send them through a simple landing page, a simple, simple landing page, which is this one right here. Um, I'll send them to a simple landing page to have them opt in. This is what starts step one. Okay. So I'll actually email them this link. Okay. I'll email them this URL and I'll have them enter their name, last name, and email to start step one and I have them do it from their end. So I email them this link. Now I used to, uh, you, you caught me on a few other videos where I used to do this myself. I'd come in here and I would opt in because this is what sets, this is what starts the email autoresponder, okay? This is what starts that. But because I have my Facebook pixel track and everything, now it's not on this one because this is a new page, but because I actually have my, actually, you know what? The Facebook pixel is not tracking this first page, it's tracking the thank you page. Let me just opt in just so you can track, just so I can prove, you know, just so I can show you what's going on. So let's say someone comes in and, and, and I have a new client comes aboard and I send them this link and I have them start step one. This automatically sends an email out to them right away and my Facebook pixel is tracking it right here you can see up here this blue now it's number three you click on that and it's showing you page view purchase I have it categorized in Facebook under my standard events under my pixel code under purchase this is a client that literally just gave me money okay so I have it categorized under purchase through my Facebook tracking um, now I send them the URL so they can do this on their end because I need Facebook to track their IP. Not, not, um, not, um, not, not actually my IP. I need Facebook to track their IP. So what I want to do is I want to actually, I, I send them that URL. I send them that URL. And then what I do is automatically my autoresponder sends them a welcome email. It sends them an email of what I need, of what I need from them. Okay. That's the first email. That's the reason why I set it up as a landing page. So when they opt in, it triggers the email autoresponder. That's the reason why I set up the, the landing page rather than taking their name and just entering it into my email. I'm sure I could do it that way too, but, but it's just easier for me to just opt them into a page, opt them into a page. That page is tied to an email autoresponder and those emails are, 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 are already set to go out okay so right when they opt in they receive the first email okay the first email is just a simple email now we're on step one that was the whole purpose of that email going out right to start step one and and step two they get an email right away of the information that i need back right they just paid me 500 to a thousand to make that happen step one step two okay now because they're on a specific email list, because they opted in to a specific opt-in form, I have set up seven days later, they're going to receive another email. Okay. This email is just, we're catching momentum. And this is seven days later. So again, they opted in today. Right away, they received the first email. That's what I need to complete step one and two for them. They just paid me money. Now we got to get step one going. Okay. Seven days later, I'm sending, the, I'm sending them this email. We're catching momentum. It's just a simple hello. Hey, Jack, 
we're catching momentum. Just want to let you know, hey, man, all everything is set. Step one, step two. We got Facebook ads. Everything is going well. If you need anything, let me know. I'm going to be a phone call away. Message me, text me, email me. I'm going to be here for you, okay? So I'm excited to be working with you. Have a great day. That email goes out seven days later, okay? And they appreciate that. They're like, damn, okay, cool. This guy, David, he's cool. He's following up. Great email. Great to hear from him. That's that, that second email. The first email was what I needed today. Seven days later, that second one goes out, okay? Seven days after that, I'm upselling them. I'm upselling them on wanting to do a little bit more. Not a major upsell, just a little bit more. Maybe add a little bit more budget to that first Facebook ad that I got going for them, okay? The Facebook ad is going great. I'm, I'm saying, hey, man, I'm getting ready to set a few more ads tonight. Let me know if you want to add more to the budget. And this, this is a mini upsell that I'm doing with them, a mini upsell, okay? This third one that's going to go out, it's really the fourth one, but it goes out seven days later. This is a simple um, value-based email showing them a video of social media marketing for their industry. It's a value-based video. There's no upsell. I'm just saying, hey, man, watch this. I thought it'd bring some good, great value to you. I'm always a phone call away. If you need anything, let me know. That's a value-based email that goes out. Seven days later, okay, so now we're still within a 28-day period, okay? They opted in. They got that first email. That's step one. Seven days later, seven days later, seven days later, seven days later. Okay, so we're in, 20, we're in a 28-day period where they've already received five emails from me, okay? This last email, this is where I want to get them back on the phone. This is where I want them to now be thinking of the next step. And I've already talked to them on the first call. I've, already, I've only had one initial call with them, okay? I've only had one call, and that was the very first call. That was when I took them for 500 to 1,000 and got some good stuff going for them, right? In this last email, and, and in that first phone call, I'm already, I'm already prepping them for what's next. I'm saying, hey man, when your budget increases, Here's, here's what else I want to be doing for you. And that's monthly. That's the monthly retainer. So I'm already, I'm already planting the seed on the first call. And while most of you bozos are trying to take them for 2,500 on that first call when they don't even freaking know you, that's my unique difference is the fact that I'm not taking them. I'm not pitching them for some high random price at that point on our first call. Got them for a few hundred, and then I'm just bringing value 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 and then and then and then once what this is 28 days later when this time to capture local leads when that email goes out 28 days later i've already done a phenomenal job for them on step one and two so now they're like holy shit david you delivered you did some great stuff hell yeah and that's where i'm getting them and i'm upselling them 28 days later to now go on and let's schedule a call because I want to talk to you about our monthly package. I want to talk to you about what I'm going to be able to do for you because, because at the end of the day, all you wanted were leads. These business owners, all they want are leads. You got to understand that, man. Every business owner, I don't give a shit what kind of business they are. Dentist, doctor, freaking chiropractor, physician, real estate agent, restaurant, landscaper, it don't matter, mechanic, every single small business owner, all they give a shit about is a new lead, a customer, a client. That's all they care about, man. And so everyone, everyone wants that, but, but that's not what I pitched them right away. I pitched them something a little basic. I said, hey, man, first of all, I already know what you want, but you ain't there yet. Your social media looks like crap. Your Facebook business page ain't up to par. Like, let me do these little things for you first, and then we'll talk about doing future business. That's the fourth automated email that went out 28 days later, getting them to schedule an appointment, okay? Because I already prepped them for this call. I even tell them on the first call, I say, hey, man, check my emails over the next couple of weeks. We're going to stay in touch, okay? So it was either today or yesterday. Actually, it was yesterday. So look, time to capture local leads. Let me open up this email right here so you can see it. This is where the other 57, and then after tomorrow, I'm going to bring two more aboard. That's where the 59 
extra transactions, extra upsells came from, it came from this email, okay? It came from this email. This is an email that I have set up, okay? Um, and you got to also look at, the, look at the touch points. How many times am I reaching out? How many times am I touching that client in a 28-day period? I'm, t I'm touching them five times via email. The first time is a phone call. So, so, and, and it's not on the phone. It's actually on zoom. I use screen share. I use zoom. That's what you heard. Of, you know, I've been talking about that forever. I don't do a phone call. I do zoom so I can visually show them all this, but it was that first phone call, right? That first zoom call. And then, and then, and then five emails, five more emails that go out through this automated system. So that's six times that I'm actually getting in front of that person, six times that I'm actually touching them in a 28 day period. So this is the email that I have automated, ready to go out 28 days later. And then, and then, so here's the title, time to capture local leads. Hi, Jack, time to capture local leads. Let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow so we can schedule a quick call. I have some simple strategies we can implement right away to start capturing local buyer and seller leads. I'm excited to literally turn you into a local real estate celebrity and capture more leads than you could possibly handle. Now's the time to go all in with local Facebook ads. Let's chat ASAP, schedule a call here. They click on that and, and it goes to my calendar, okay? It goes to my Kartra calendar. Again, everything is in Kartra, man. Quit messing around with Calendly and all this other bullshit. You don't need all these da damn services. Everything is in Kartra. So they click on that. They go to my Kartra calendar and they schedule an appointment or they'll reply to this email and want to schedule an appointment. And that's what happened to the, that, that. That's how the 57 extra transactions came in. And Leticia right here, she's going to be 58 and then Carrie is going to be 59 tomorrow. So this email, let's see, this was on the 18th. Today is the 19th. So this was, this came in last night. Okay. And so if I click on this, here's what she put down. So here's my automated email. Here's the email. That's the exact email that I just showed you guys. Okay. I just showed you that. And then what I'm doing is. They reply or they'll click the link, but they'll reply. And she replied this. Yes, we need to. I try to schedule. A, uh, I try to schedule in your calendar, but it didn't work, which I got to fix that link. And, and I'm glad we're here. Let's fix that right now. I would like to do 10 or 11 CST. Please let me know what works best. You guys, Leticia already gave me a few hundred. I've already knocked out a few basic steps for her. She's fired up. That automated email went out 28 days later. That's how I got people to upsell, okay? That's how I do it, you guys. That's how I do it. On that first call, I plant the seed. I let them know to be checking their emails, okay? On that first call, I let them know what the next step would be should we ever get there. I also let them know, hey, man, it's going to take way more budget. It's going to take way more budget. It's going to take a monthly budget. And I even tell them, too, up front, man, I say, hey, I don't bring on, all, I don't bring on everyone. I don't bring on everyone. I tell them that up front just to, just to kind of take it away and give that little fear of loss. I say, hey, man, I don't take on everyone monthly. First of all, not everyone has the budget and not everyone is consistent with the content because what I want to do is have people do video. And a lot of people are video shy. They're camera shy. They're not putting out video. So that's not a client that I really want to work with. Shout out to Robert. I brought aboard Rob, Robert out there in Norman, Oklahoma. We're going to be crushing it in 2020 because this guy is a video fanatic. He can do videos in his sleep. He puts out so much video content on social media. It's not even funny. So when I come across someone like that, I'm like, holy shit, we're going to, this is a match made in heaven. Not everyone's like that. Not everyone can put out video like that. Now, if you're running image ads and just capturing leads for people, you could do that too. But the true branding effect when you're building a local business, the true, true branding effect is when you're putting yourself out on video. That's when your entire audience is going to take you seriously. They're going to get to know you better. They're going to be attracted to you. They're going to be, they're going to be indoctrinated in your content because they see you. why in the hell you think my YouTube channel is growing. Why in the hell you think you're over here listening to me? It's because of my damn video. That's all it is, man. If I was writing blog posts, none of you guys would be here, right? It's the video content that I continue to put out on YouTube that, 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 that has brought you here. Bottom line, there ain't nothing else to it. So when you could take that video content and actually run Facebook ads 
or run YouTube ads or run Instagram ads, you're able to build yourself a little audience. And, and again, I tell people up front, I'm like, hey man, not everyone is down to put out video content. So to tell you the truth, John, we, not, we may not make it a step three. But I'm glad I could be doing step one and two for you right now. That's fine. I'll, I'll take your 500 right now. I'll go knock this out by tonight. It's all good. But, but should we ever get to video, you know, step three, video content is going to be a huge part of it. A, a, a consistent monthly budget is going to be a big part of it. So not everyone makes it that far, John. But if we do, again, just check your emails over the next few days and you'll have a chance to schedule a call with me so we can get, get back on the phone and I can tell you exactly how we'll be able to capture local leads in your backyard in no time. And that's what this is all about, you guys. This all happens because of my email automation, okay? Now, if I go back, this is the second upsell. In fact, let me fix this link right now. Most people reply to the email, and maybe they reply because my damn link hasn't been working. Let me double check this damn link. Yeah, see, I think I already updated it. I already updated it, so now it should be working. Now, now it's working. Okay, so let's... Um, let me let me show you this real quick in closing and this shit fires me up you guys man i hope you guys know how serious i take this this is this stuff is 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 basic it's basic and and i truly believe most are missing it most are missing it most are missing it let me um let me go back to the sequence so you can so you can really see these upsells okay so again that one went out seven days later this second one went out seven days later. That's where I mini upsell them. And then, and then seven days later, seven days later, this is where I upsell them on a monthly package. Okay. So the difference in 57 over here, 155 and 212, the difference of 57 came from either someone replying to this, to this second email over here. Should we go up? That's a mini upsell. And then also replying to the last one. This last one is when I take them on a month, take them on as monthly clients. Okay. So that's the difference of 57. The 57 didn't all come from the fourth email, the last email. Some of them came from this mini one where I mini upsell them on this, on this second email. Okay. So this right here, you guys is automation. This is how I was able to upsell the, the other 57 clients to, to, to give me even more money to allow me to bring even more value to them. Okay. I speak to people once and it's my email automation that allows them to, to, to give me more money and, and get them back on the phone when we need to talk about a more consistent monthly budget to even bring more value to them. So this is what I've been able to do you guys in 2019. I'm freaking fired up for 2020 because I'm going to be teaching people Again, in my niche, I'm going to be teaching them how to do all this themselves because, again, my model is not to bring on hundreds of monthly retaining clients. That's not where I, where I, where I want to go. That's not what I want. That's not my business model. And, again, some of you guys that, that got that going on, you know, freaking more power to you. You know, shout out to you guys that have, you know, 25 clients paying you 2000 a month. Shout out to every single one of you. But I know for a fact, and you know for a fact, that shit ain't easy. You got headaches up the ass. Like, I know you do. Like, you got headaches from clients calling you all the time, and you probably got headaches because now you got employees, and you have an office, and you have overhead, and you have expenses, and, and, and you're building a traditional business. No more online. You're now building a traditional business because you got clients that you got to deal with every day, and, 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 and you need help to, to fulfill and deal with them. So that's not the model that I care to go, man. I'm going more digital course and just teaching people how to do it themselves. So I'm going to be teaching my niche how to do a lot of this themselves. And I'm going to be teaching people how I built my agency. And that's digitalagencyblueprint.com. So how I was able to do all this, bring on 155 clients in a month, how I was able to get retaining clients, how I'm able to upsell them to give me even more money and, 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 and the whole damn shebang. So if you're interested in that, man, make sure you're on that VIP list. Make sure you check the emails, digitalagencyblueprint.com. And if you haven't tried Kartra, man, I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. It's a 14-day trial. It's, it costs you a buck. It's one freaking dollar, one dollar to try for 14 days. It blows my mind on how most of you guys haven't even done that and you're over here trying to build a business. Yeah, right. You better go into 2020 with a different perspective, a different mindset, and you better be ready to kill it, man. And, and here's the thing. Don't think that any of this shit is saturated. You can't be thinking that way at all. You cannot be thinking that way. 
I truly know for a fact that everyone has their own audience. You have your own personality. You have your own characteristics. You have your own strategies. You are able to go build your own tribe. You don't need the whole entire world. You don't need the entire market to be your client. You don't need all that. You need a handful. You need a, you need a small percentage. And when you can grab a small percentage from a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar freaking industry, trust me, man, finances aren't going to be the issue. You're going to be doing just fine financially with your little piece of the pie. Give me a crumb of a multi-billion dollar company and I'm fine. All right. So don't think you need everyone, man. Start building your shit, build your little audience. I'm telling you, man, bring value, bring value, put a twist to what you're doing and do it to the best of your ability. And I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, people will want to do business with you. All right, guys. So I wish you nothing but the best, man. I'll catch you on the next video over and out.